reviewer. I do reviews on the YouTube. You never knew such a cool dude. I keep it so fly, and do you know why? It's cause I know whether to buy that food. Hey guys, what's going on? It's Fruity Viewer. We're back. We're making, uh, we're doing a remake of the pancake video. Figured it was time, 2022. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we'll get into it. We're not doing just pancakes. We're doing a full big breakfast. We're doing, uh... Bacon, hash browns, the sausage in the fridge, eggs, pancakes. I think that's it. So let's get started. All right, so we got the KM slow smoked maplewood thick cut bacon. This is the best bacon I've ever had from the grocery store. Uh, if you think otherwise, let me know. I'd be willing to try different types of bacon. This is a newer product, I'm pretty sure, newer product. Use a knife, get some scissors. Right. Do two pieces each. This does not normally happen, I'm being ripped like this. I'm kind of fatty too. And I pulled out five pieces of bacon, not four. Let's go back to school. <laughs> and uh, we got TJ Farms hash browns. I've never had these. I was going to get frozen home fries, but Roach Brothers did not have them. Trying to surprise me. So we'll get three hash browns on there. Just on a bacon sheet with a wire rack. Best way to cook bacon. That's a Sam the cooking guy trick that I learned from him. 400 degrees. Hash browns should take like 14 minutes. I don't know on the bacon. We'll just judge it when it's ready. Because everybody likes their bacon different. If you like it crispy, 20 minutes. All right, we're just gonna start with the pancake batter. We got all purpose flour. We're doing, uh, let's see here, two cups. We're using the Joshua Weissman recipe on this one. I don't know if he measures his out, but I'll show you the recipe here. The thing I like about Joshua Weissman, on the recipe, he gives you the measurements in grams. So if you got the food scale, there's no excuse really not to use it. I don't feel like taking it out. I feel like baking, you should usually use the food scale. Uh, cooking like this, you don't need the food scale, you can eyeball it. But pancake, it is like bacon, I guess. All right, two cups, and we're gonna do, let's see here, uh, quarter cup of sugar. All right, quarter cup of sugar. I wanna put that in there. We got one teaspoon of salt. I only have Himalayan sea salt. There is some kosher salt up there, but it's on the top shelf. Didn't feel like getting it. One uh, one teaspoon of that. It's probably about a teaspoon. Nice big bowl. A quarter teaspoon of baking soda. I'm gonna open this. Mm, spill proof packaging, huh? get into this thing. <laughs> Just stab it. All right, quarter teaspoon of uh, bacon soda. Okay. Baking powder. One, uh, one tablespoon. It's a nice apron here. Covering up the big mess I'm making. Made by some girl. <laughs> All right, one tablespoon baking powder in. All right, 
believe that is all the dry. Um, in fact, it is. Okay, let's check on the bacon. Checking on the bacon. Looks like it's getting there. Looking good. S squirting everywhere. Shit. All right. Got the small pan heating up, cast iron. As you can see we're all cast iron right here. Uh, we're gonna use this for the sausage. So I just got that on a low heat. It's not hot enough yet where I can't pick it up. A little, little warm though. All right, let's get the wet ingredients going. All right, unsalted butter. I'm gonna do two tablespoons melted for the wet here. All right, I'll put this in a bowl and put it in the microwave. All right, we'll let that melt. All right, while well, that butt is melting in the microwave, but it's gonna whisk together all the dry. All right, for the wet, we got one egg. No shells. <laughs> Whole milk. I'm going to do one and a half cups. One and two tablespoons melted butter. Whisk it all together. All right, wet ingredients all whisked together going into the dry. All right, and then you take your whisk and whisk this together and make a nice pancake batter. Some clumps are okay. All right, it's probably a good consistency right there. All right, nice and, well, not too thick, but thick enough. All right, let's go to the oven. Check on the bacon again, that's probably getting there. Yeah, that's looking good. Hash browns are getting brown. Probably pull those in a few minutes. Uh, before the pancakes go on, because we're gonna do probably like four, this'll, this pan, okay, it's not hot enough yet. This uh, large cast iron griddle pan, awesome for pancakes. Make them decently sized on that, right? Like I said, the sausage is going in the small pan. I'm gonna add a little bit of oil. Add a little bit of grapeseed oil to the pan. Nice coating on it. Sausage links going in. Crank the heat up a bit. All right, we'll do six of these. All right, sausage in the pan, bacon's in the oven with the hash browns. Give these a flip. Keep them moving so you get them brown on all edges. It's time for the pancakes. Uh, in Joshua's video, he said, I think he uses quarter cup. I'm going to do uh, three quarter cup size pancakes. See how many we can get with this. Alright. Don't forget your lubricant. Almost forgot the lube. Alright, put some butter on the pan. Oh, that's a little hot. Said in the last pancake video, Paula Dean here. With the amount of butter. Try to cool the pan down a bit. This pan heats up very fast, but it is on the power burner, so that could be the issue. 
Same thing, keep moving the uh, little sausages around. Those nice and cooked through. I don't even know what brand those were. Johnsonville, I think. I usually do the one, they're in a or a yellow container. There's probably more than 12 in the pack, but they didn't have them. It's Brooks Brothers. All right, pancakes. It's, uh, three quarter cup. Maybe a little bit less. I don't know how big these will be. All right, here we go. I like my pancakes big like you're at a diner. Diner in New Jersey. New Jersey Diner Tour. Mini M&M's, we're doing those. They just rebranded this one. It's not as sexy anymore, right? That was a sexy M&M. Not so much anymore. Yeah. 2022, they got to rebrand everything, huh? Just give them a good shake on that. Alright, that should be a good amount. Check on the bacon. Bacon's probably burning in there, not gonna lie. Not gonna lie, it's probably burning. Nope. Uh, it's a little burnt, but it's crispy. I'll uh, we'll put this over here for now. The thing with the bacon is, with this sheet pan, as you can see if we lift it up, it catches all that grease. So that's good. If you want to use the grease for anything else, you can. I don't usually save the grease, but could be a thing to stop doing. Doesn't stick, perfectly cooked. Nice and crispy. No need to flip, because it gets the airflow underneath from the wire rack. These, oh, those are hot. Hot and crispy. All right, back to the pancakes. Sausages too, keep those moving. Turn the heat down, because they were getting a little too burnt. Now on the pancakes, they usually say, wait until you see some bubbles come up. We'll do that to an extent around the edges, not so much in the middle. Probably like, once they get to about a quarter of the way in, we'll check it. All right, it's time to flip. I have not perfected the flipping action yet, but this spatula hopefully will help. I'll go ahead and check just to make sure that it is ready. And it is. All right. Boom, baby. It's all in the wrist action with that. All right. Pancake should be done. Do a little test there. Yep, it's done. All right, pull it off. Paper plate. <laughs> Put it over there. This. That's not good. But pan will survive. Sausages. Yeah, oh, yeah, pan's hot now. Sausages are probably done, nice and browned on all sides, so we'll go ahead and take these off and put them on the wire rack with the, uh, the bacon. Alright, we're going to do scrambled eggs with this. The queen doesn't like eggs, so they're all for me. Uh, butter into the pan. Low and slow with eggs. Low and slow. Scrambled eggs going in. Alright, we'll let those set. And we'll move them around. I like my scrambled eggs more like an omelet. Make sure to cover every pot. There we go. Check on pancake number two here. Should be pretty close to being flipped. Oh boy. not as good as the first flip, but it happens. Food isn't always picked for perfect. All right, eggs are starting to set in the pan, so just kind of move them around a little bit. All right, look at that. Not sticking anywhere. Let the liquid egg fill the spots it just created. Pan's a little warm. We can cast iron Reddit. Subreddit has a circle jerk with, uh, Friggin' non-sliding eggs. Everyone's posting them. It's unbelievable. All right, eggs are starting to set pretty good here now. Turn the heat back down. 
Now we'll just get them all in one section. Try to at least move that over the flame. Let those keep cooking. And uh, we'll do some cleaning of the pans. So, the cast iron, hot. Very hot. Turn your water on. Get that as hot as it'll go. And take the cast iron pan. I put that there. Take this. Boom, steam everything right off of there. That is the way to do it. And when you do this when they're still hot, a lot of this food comes up. You can see that is fairly clean. All right. Now we got this handy cast iron scrubber. Scrub the rest of the crap off of here. A little bit of stickage, I think, right there, maybe. Even not. All right. Hit the rest of it. All right. Now, we're going to do a little bit of soap. It's not really supposed to do that, they say, but I disagree. A little soap ain't going to hurt anything. right there that's like a little omelet not really but paper towel wipe down your cast iron yeah a little black right there a little black but that's not gonna kill anybody it does look like there's some burnt on uh, chocolate potentially but it happens cast iron lasts you a lifetime gets better with use back in the burner to get the moisture out. And maybe a little bit of oil on it, maybe not. All right, there we go. Everything's done. Eggs, bacon, sausage, hash browns, pancakes. I think that's everything. Time to eat. All right, pancake, a little bit of butter on top. We're not doing the stick of butter thing again. You know, I don't need to do that. Got all the uh, accessories to the pancake. Some might say this is the main course and the pancake's the accessory. I disagree, the pancake is the main course. And uh, these are like your sides. Big breakfast, it's always what I get when I go out to diners. Uh, Dave's Diner in Middleborough, they got the best big breakfast I think I've had. Uh, best bang for your buck is Waffle House, but we don't have those around here. The nearest one is five hours away, don't ask me how I know that. Might have driven that to go, just to go Waffle House. And, uh, come right home. Diesel wasn't five dollars a gallon. I would drive down there on my days off. That's a day trip, five and a half hours. Eleven hours one way or round trip. And we're trying uh, Maine maple syrup, Stonewall Kitchen. If you've never had anything Stonewall Kitchen, I highly uh, highly recommend this brand. I think they're out of Maine. They had a store in Maine. We actually went to Maine and bought a bunch of crap there. I don't know where they're out of. It's gluten-free, non-GMO, so it's like an ice cube, I guess. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and we'll try it. Probably don't need a lot of it. Ooh! It smells like liquor. Real maple syrup. You do not need a lot of this stuff. That's probably enough. All right, we'll save the pancake for last. We'll try all the appetizers first. I'll hit the bacon first. Why not? All right. Look at the edges on that. Perfectly cooked on the wire rack. That is the way to go. Wire rack on the sheet tray in the oven. Uh, obviously, the cast iron pans like like the bacon grease but i've cooked so much bacon on them they all got a good layer of seasoning so i figured this is the way to go 
Didn't drop it though. Let's go ahead and try it. Nice and crispy. Awesome flavor on this bacon. Oh, those edges are so good. The burnt edges on those. Mm. Our KM bacon is at least a 9.2 out of 10. In the grocery store and you see that stuff, get it. Best bacon you can buy. Good on anything. They got the regular, it's regular bacon. That was the maple wood smoked bacon. It goes good on burgers, chicken sandwiches, or just plain like this. Very good. All right, moving on to the sausage here. Mmm, good maple smell. Good maple smell. Right, standard breakfast sausage, maple flavor. Try it. It's like a 7.47 out of 10. 7.47. Hash browns, a little floppy, all right? Not remind you of anything? Reminds me of something. Uh, Crispy exterior, but just floppy right there in the middle. Maybe didn't cook them long enough. Yeah, those are okay, I guess. They taste like McDonald's house browns, actually. But they're just not fried, so they're not as good. But still good for the oven. Get this butter melted on the pancake. All right, eggs. <clears throat> Do I really need to review an egg? Salt and pepper, that's all you need on an egg. Maybe a little hot sauce is good too. I'll do hot sauce if I'm in the mood. All right, nice and cooked well there. Kind of like an omelet, that's how I like my scrambled eggs. Yep, cooked well in the center too. Good, good eggs. Not even gonna rate an egg, not gonna tell you, because it's an egg. All right, main event, M&M pancakes. What we're all here for. We'll hit the edge piece first. Look at that. That is fluff right there. Hmm. Kind of dry. Kind of dry there on the uh, edge piece. Didn't get too many M and M's. All right, actually, they're not uh not the best pancakes I've ever had. Go for a middle piece here with some of the syrup. All right, this is a chunky pancake. Look at that, that's pretty big. It is kind of dry though. I wanna get a little bit more of this. I can taste it a little bit, but it's not, not like overpowering. I want to get a good overpowering taste to really taste it. It's all right. Tastes like maple syrup. I've had better maple syrup actually than the Stonewall Kitchen. It's, I don't know what brand it is, but it had a lot more flavor. That stuff's kind of bland, but oh well. Pancake, a little dry. Probably could have not cooked it as long as I did. Oh well, it happens, but fluffy pancake. I'll give it a uh, 7.2 out of 10. So uh, overall, meal is pretty good so far. 
Uh, we're going to go ahead and finish this. Hope you guys enjoyed watching the Cooking with Tyler video. We'll do more of these. Got more reviews coming. Uh, let me know what I should cook if you have any recommendations. And, uh, we'll take a look and maybe we'll do them. So uh, thanks for watching, guys, and peace out.